Nurses are the front line of patient care and safety at our hospitals, but who is protecting our nurses when the workplace environment becomes violent? The American Nurses Association reveals a shocking statistic. One in four nurses will experience verbal or physical violence in their career. The majority of these violent attacks occur in the ER. Nurses have been punched, scratched, and even assaulted with weapons. In one survey, nearly 20% of nurses said they were afraid to report their attacks in fear of losing their job. Since the start of the hashtag MeToo movement, a growing number of nurses are starting to speak out about this very disturbing epidemic. Now the question is, what else needs to be done to ensure the safety of nurses in the workplace? Our first guest today is a nurse who experienced this violence firsthand. Please welcome Randy, who joins us via Skype. And Randy, thank you for being here. First question is, how long have you been a nurse now? I've been a nurse for about nine and a half years. Always known I wanted to be a nurse from the time I was a little kid. I knew my calling was to be a caretaker. And the nine and a half years that I've been a nurse, I've been in emergency medicine. Well, I personally thank you, thank you very much yeah. for the work that you do. Thank you. Unequivocally can say that emergency departments do not run without the work that you do. And I'm sorry that you did experience this type of workplace violence. Can you explain what happened when you were attacked? Yeah, I wish I could say it's the first time um, I've been attacked many times in my nine years, but it was never this bad. It was a typical day show up to work at 6 a.m., 6.30 in the morning, I walk into a patient's room. She needed medical clearance in order to go on to the psychiatric facility. I turned my back for maybe just a second. She was compliant, lying in bed. When I turned back to draw her labs, she took a big uppercut right to my cheek, um, and it took myself and another nurse a few minutes holding her down in the bed until security arrived. And what is security like at your hospital? We had one security officer in our hospital that day stationed in our ER lobby. So that took probably a couple minutes. It felt like five minutes while I'm struggling with this girl holding her down in the bed waiting for help to arrive. But he had to respond from the ER lobby into the main ER proper. And Randy, do you have any sort of special protocol when you're dealing with a mental health patient there is policies and procedures in place on how to deal with mental health patients, substance abuse patients. The problem is lack of staffing. That day that I was punched, we were running three nurses short already. I stayed on shift for seven hours after I was punched. The main reason was because I knew that if I left, if I went home, I was leaving my team now four nurses short. 